Hi traders, it's Alberto, and this is a tutorial on the FX1 um, advisory indicator. It's been a while since I posted any videos on the indicator, and I thought I'm uh, uh, putting one up today, uh, especially since we're opening the trade room on March 31st, and we're going to be using the FX1 indicator for trades. So let me get started. Um, a lot of emails on how to use the FX1 indicator. Now, the way I'd like to use the indicator is looking for buying and selling alerts with uh, candlestick patterns. So, for example, here um, we had a nice get ready. This was a signal to sell on the USD CAD. We have a spinning top. If you know your candlestick patterns, you know that a spinning top is an indecision candle. Markets rally for what one and a half days was overbought at a previous resistance level, so it gave us a nice. This is a one hour chart, by the way. So it gave us a nice spinning top. The next candle was a color change candle, and so I combined the color change candle system that I use with the FX advisory indicator. So I've got a selling opportunity, and I take my trade. Anywhere around here. I mean, if you just follow the FX1 indicated blindly, you could enter the trade a lot earlier. But many of those um, buy and sell signals, especially on a smaller time frames, uh, could turn out to be false signals. So you definitely want to have a candlestick pattern when these buy and sell signals appear. Okay. Let me just show you a trade that was. Actually, a trade signal, but I said that on Friday on the Euro New Zealand. It was a great trade. Notice that this three candle combination on Thursday was an, an evening star. So the market started all the way down here, rallied, rallied, put in quite a number of pips. Evening star, look how it retested that level of resistance. And the FX advisory indicator gave us a sell. So the entry was anywhere around this area right here, 48.27. And the target was here. So market moved quite a bit, about 40 pips. Okay. So again, if you know your candlestick patterns, then this should not be difficult to trade the FX advisory. You just have to make sure that you have several reasons to take a trade. You may even throw in a stochastic indicator to see if this level is overbought or oversold. Okay. And let's do that right now. Throw in stochastics. I use a 14, 5, and 3. And so that's the uh, settings. And yes, stochastics is overbought when the advisory indicator gave us a sell signal. Many reasons to take a sell at these levels of the market came back down for a support. Um, pound dollar. Throw in that indicator again. And up, I'm looking at these levels up here where we have an evening star in the one hour chart and Thursday price retested that level as the Cassics was overbought and the market just turned around and headed south. And what happened? That was our target. And then we have a buying opportunity right now. Now, I would have probably taken this trade um, here because we had a hammer. The Cassics is oversold. But because I'm trading off the one hour chart, the overall direction of the pound dollar right now is, is to the downside. I would most likely have exited this trade after about 10 or 20 pips because this, this is such a strong downtrend. And this level of support may not hold. Initially, it did because it hit a previous support, but I would have exited this trade maybe after a few hours capturing um, 10 or 20 pips. And, and I think the market went up. About actually went up about 40 40 pips from this, from this entry, 30 pips from the swing low here to the swing high. Okay, now this we will be going over in the trade room what 
trades to take based on the FX advisor indicator, what trades not to take. And we will go over trade setups using candlestick patterns, using stochastics indicator. We'll use news events uh, to help us trade. Um, here was a great trade setup. On, oh, I think we went over that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. You um, let me go over to the Aussie dollar. We had a great trade set up on this pair. Bear with me for a moment here. Here it was. Um, and again, um, should have loaded all these indicators before I did this tutorial, but just bear with me. Here we have resistance level. Price came back up and gave us a nice evening star in the one hour chart. And stochastics was not quite overbought, but it doesn't matter. Candlestick pattern is uh, more important than, than the stochastics indicator. So stochastic indicator would just confirm what you see in price action. But at least the two lines cross to the downside, so that gave us a go ahead to sell. And notice where the target was at the previous support level. And that was a nice um, 40 pip run to the downside. So that's it. If you don't haven't purchased the FX1 indicator, you can on my website. If you plan to join the live trade room, we open March 1st. Spaces are filling up quickly, so you may want to send me an email or just sign up and. Um, on the next billing cycle, I'll just uh, change it to uh, whatever day you signed up so you don't feel like you, you're, you're missing out or you're getting cheated for a couple of weeks, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. We're very excited about the trade room. Let us know if you're interested. Have a good weekend.